What's up everybody, how's it going and welcome to this episode of Car Rant. Today, we're going to go hang out with a buddy of mine. He's an uh, old high school friend of mine, and more importantly, he's also a little bit of a car guy. And, he's a guy who did most of our music when we were in our early stages of Car Rant. It's going to be a good time. Hope you guys enjoy. Technically, this is the beach property I'm standing on right now where I used to come down and chill and hang out. It looks like some of the same people that I used to know that lived here back then still live here because the same boats are still here. That's what I grew up with, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. This is beautiful out here. This is... Uh, you finally made it home, Rekha. place where I was first introduced to the idea of being a car guy. It was in this place. So yesterday, Josh and I actually hung out and chilled. It was a good time. He's running late. So hopefully he'll get here soon. MTV Chris. What? <laughs> Welcome to MTV Chris, he said. <laughs> Go for another ride in this thing. Something you had plenty of fun with last night. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so for those of you still trying to figure it out, he and I went to high school together. We did. I was a sophomore, you were a fresh, a frosh. A frosh. I remember those days. Oh man, good time. What a time. He's actually the guy that's helped produce a lot of the music that we use on the channel. A lot of our outros use his music. Some of our intros use his music. So, who knows, maybe we'll get music of our own from you someday. That'd be nice, I'm huh? Sure it'll happen. Yes. Fun stories. <laughs> at work one day, um, Buddy and I go over to uh, to get a drink at the gro uh, grocery store. As we're leaving, Ferrari 488 drives by. We hop in my car, take off. Um, we're going after this thing. I pull up next to it at the light. He takes off, so I pull off after him. He pulls in up to this uh, this Bose store and these outlets. So I pull up, my guy and I were like gonna walk up to him and say, alright, so like, can we take pictures of it? Can we check it out? You know, like just make sure we're being respectful, getting his permission. Turns around as he's walking to the store, unlocks it, says, open it up, check it out, sit in it, do whatever you want. Craziest thing in the world. We were freaking out. <laughs> Crazy story involving an Italian car was also at work. I used to work for Bose, if you didn't know. Uh, and this guy comes into the store and says, hey, listen, I have a really strange request. The Soundlink Mini just came out and I wanted to try something. Can, like, can you bring an associate outside with the unit? I just need to test something real quick. And we're like, sure, what are we testing? Uh, went to the store manager, brought the case to him. He said, all right, go ahead. What he wanted to do was drive around in his old 60s Fiat. Old Fiat <laughs> Bart and see if he could fit the stereo in his car because they didn't come with anything like that and also to see if it would be loud enough to be heard over the engine because again the car is so old there is no sound deadening or anything like that in it so you just get raw engine noise so we're doing laps in a parking lot at my mall with 
the sounding mini stashed into the dash because in those cars the dash is just big enough to fit the sounding mini and the cable that goes out and plugs into his power outlet in the car. Yeah, and that was that was a good day at work. I came out of the car, I sold the guy all the stuff he needed for the thing, and I was just beaming ear to ear after that because it was awesome. An imported Italian Fiat car. So we're technically at his release party for his EP. This is the best party screen I've ever seen. <laughs> just a bunch of little anime minions and then his his Every little Gotham on. likes it, they just start dancing basically. <laughs> leading them all. <laughs> That's kind of dope. <laughs> Act like you leaving. <laughs> Took him for a ride in this yesterday. And I think it's safe to say he's a fan. Yeah, this car loves all of the crazy roads that are out here. Just the insane handleability that it has. Curvy roads are its home. Yeah, it belongs on them. <laughs> so, who knows? Maybe next time you'll be in D.C. on roads that I know. I hope so. So we can go stunting. <laughs> I'll try to keep up with my car. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it won't happen, but I'll... You, I don't know if your car can make it that far. Let's go look at yours real quick. I'll, I'll hang on for a little bit. <laughs> so, Josh, what do you drive? Oh, look at that. Chris, you found a brother. A turd. A <laughs> and then someone decided to pay him a visit. Hold on, let me see. Yep. And then I decided that power sledding in a snowstorm was a good idea. <laughs> I love how this is just, just there. Yeah. You can't do anything about it. It's just, not really, it's yeah. just gone. I'm kind of to replace that door. <laughs> I'm sure I took out a road sign. I'm not sure. Door, side skirt, 
and corner panel. <laughs> I think I'll need to be replaced. I Sorry. I don't care about this. Just the door. Yeah. This thing's gonna die anyway. How many miles are on it now? Uh, well, 240k yesterday. 240,000 miles. I can get another on this. Easy. Well, that's because you actually take care of your car, and like some people we know. <laughs> Uh, let's see these headlights real quick because when I first saw this car, I was dying with laughter because I had never seen you do this before. <laughs> these things are hilarious. I love how it has the <laughs> I love how the tubing actually looks like very, very clean sometimes during this point in time. They didn't look the best. I do know a guy who's probably gonna want these from you though. <laughs> And hang on real quick, real quick. Let's see that speedo. Do y'all see that little number there? That is what you call it. <laughs> okay, okay, Not I see bad. you. <laughs> Not too oh, and there's the burning oil. <laughs> oh, real quick, what's the story behind the toothless? Have you seen How to Train Your Dragon? Have, has anyone seen How to Train Your Dragon? I would hope so. It's a fantastic <laughs> movie. To be fair, um... It was on an Acura. It was on an Acura. Wasn't it an Integra too? It was an Acura Integra, all black, and I basically had to go get the place, and on the way, I just texted my sister, and I was like, what should I put the, put on the place? Like, what should I name the car? And she was like, oh, Toothless from How to Change Your Dragon, because it had just come out. Um, that was a while ago. Yeah, it was a long time ago. And, uh, and yeah. thus, the dragon names were born. Put that on there. This is a little bit more fitting, because it actually can go and do things like the, the integra Acura. that poor car we had so much fun in it but that thing could not go anywhere <laughs> fast maybe uh <sighs> it could go up a hill sometimes if you had a floored well that's because it was a gs that had just no power because the previous owner didn't do jack to save it Very true. this on the other hand has been well mostly maintained aside from that nasty dent in the trunk that was there when i got it so i took <laughs> no blame whatsoever or the huge wackadoo well, on the side <laughs> <laughs> Don't drift in the snow, kids. Or if you do, make sure there isn't a sign there, sir. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I hit something and I stopped to make sure that, like, I didn't kill anyone or anything. And I didn't, <laughs> and I didn't see anything in the snow, so I just left. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I'll do that. I love it. It looks aggressive. Anything you want to say before we got to take off? Uh, pertaining to what? <laughs> Anything. First, people who like house music, this man's, go follow this man's in SoundCloud. Shout yes. yourself out. Uh, SoundCloud.com slash Soma Music, S-O-U-M-A. And everything else is Josh Soma, all one word. <laughs> <laughs> I've known this guy for years. We did the math, it's officially been, is it, isn't it 10 years? Almost 10 years. Pretty much 10 years, yeah. So, been good homies the whole time. Both of us were big car guys in high school. Oh yeah. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> being able to live the dream a little bit is a little bit of a fun thing. But check out his music, support the people that support mm -hmm. us, because this man makes music for us. Yep. So. Try to at least. Try Sometimes. to at least. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get some music for the channel from you soon. I know yeah. you're busy with oh, yeah. your regular Soma projects as it is. And we'll you're going some. to Korea. I am. I'm hyped. Which will be a good time. See if I can find some uh, street racing somewhere. Hey, go to Busan. I'm told that that's a good place to go for this. I wouldn't be opposed. <laughs> and on that note, we're going to end the video here. Thanks yes. for tuning in. Thanks for coming along with us. For us, this is a little bit of a walk down memory lane. It is. Because, you know, that's what we do. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise. Started way back in the day. Oh, God. <laughs> we used to do YouTube back in high school. It was so cringy. It was so cringy. I'm so glad I can't find that yep. stuff anymore. Yep. <laughs> We'd be all out of a job. But on that note, guys, thank you guys for watching. God bless you guys. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you on another episode. God bless and right. peace. Peace.